Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and it's time to get back to reviewing some cards. So welcome to Illusionist Week. Hey, that's right, it's Illusionist Week. Uh, you might have noticed that this past week, Illusionist did this really huge sale. They had like 90% off, a ton of stuff, and they were selling decks and magic and man, tons of stuff. And I loaded up my cart full of illusionists. I, I think I had three packages come from them through the whole week. I was just buying stuff, buying stuff, buying stuff. And so I thought, hey, let's do a whole week for illusionists and we'll start off with decks of cards. So here's the thing. Uh, I have more decks of cards than I have days in the week, okay? More decks of cards than I have days in the week. So here's what I need from you. I'll show you the cards that we're gonna review this week. You tell me in the comment section below which is your number one deck you wanna see reviewed more than any other, okay? And so, just your top one, okay? I don't want top two, top three, top five, I don't want any of that, just your top number one. So comment below with your top number one pick that you have to see reviewed this week, and we'll make sure uh, if it gets enough votes that we'll include it in. All right, so you ready for some decks? Let's get to it. First up is the Keeper deck from Adam Wilbur. Uh, you might have seen this deck, it's kind of like an homage to the bicycle deck, and it's done with lighthouses. Next up is the Roadhouse deck. Uh, this was a homage, a tribute to the classic Steamboat deck. So this is a casino back. It's got a full bleed all the way to the back and it's meant to remind you kind of like those vintage old Steamboat cards. Hey, bees are beautiful. So up next is the Bumble Bee deck. This was a tribute to bumblebees and uh, telling you a little bit more about why bumblebees are important on the earth. Uh, it's a conservatory deck and so it's a nice tribute to bees. Then naturally we have the Killer Bee deck. Uh, again, this was partnered with the bumblebee deck, so it's another deck to remind you about how important bumblebees are on the earth. Then we got a more of a little classic, little throwback deck. This is the Inverted Kings from Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon. You might remember the original Kings deck uh, was white with black icons. This is an all black deck with white icons. Then we have Red Arcane. Uh, Red Arcane was one of the more harder to find decks in the past. Uh, this is one of the ones that they had on sale this past weekend, and so I had to pick one up. Another hard to find deck, another Black Club exclusive deck were the Black Artifice. Black Artifice deck, uh, Artifice being uh, Illusionist flagship deck, and they release a lot of different colors, and so black was one of the more hard to find ones. And then lastly, we'll finish off with Gold Artifice, another Black Club exclusive, another hard to find, uh, hard to come across deck, and so I was glad to be able to pick these up. All right, eight decks, eight decks, and we only have six days. So again, comment below, let me know which deck is your favorite, which deck you have to see reviewed first, and we'll try our hardest to get it in. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, please do. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and you can always find more content at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.